Basil Babes, it's your girl Joy, back with another banger. So I tried a Starbucks hack. So let's see how it tastes. Okay. I went into the app and I ordered a triple espresso shot with extra ice, a splash of water, and six pumps of white mocha and a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. So, this is gonna be my first taste. I didn't add any sweetener. I'm hoping that the mocha. Baby. And this was $4.35. I don't know if that's backwards. The splash of water. She good, y'all. I even see maybe doing five pumps of the mocha. But see, it would have been more money if I added a splash of milk. So I did a splash of water. And so what I'm about to do is add some of my rice to it, which will take some of the sweetness away. So baby, that's gonna be my order. $4.35, and it'd probably be less if I do less pumps of the mocha, the white chocolate mocha. Very good, very sweet. Doesn't taste like strong coffee. She's good. She good. You better try this. Mama Basil told you so. Try it, y'all. Four dollars and thirty-five cents. Cause Starbucks, they be high. Mm -mm, they they don't match my pockets. But sometimes I be sitting there for like six, seven hours. I feel bad. So I got a bagel. I'm gonna eat my little bagel, and then I'm gonna go right in there for about six hours. Mm-hmm. Eating this this lo this particular location in Kingwood, they got this good ice. They got the good ice. They got like that sonic ice. So I'll be running to the bathroom. But it's weird. I wouldn't I would not do it in New York on the East Coast. But it's weird, but people, a lot of people in here working on their laptops, da da da. And they go to the bathroom. Nobody, nobody ever touched their stuff. Ever, 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 ever. Not saying that'll never happen, but I haven't had that experience. No one touches your things. So you go to the bathroom, come back, your stuff still be there. Not saying that it can never happen, but it's not something that is frequent that happens out here, period. So that's my hack for the day, y'all. Good. So I'm going to go in there. I did work on some of my professional development training that I've been dreading. I did a little bit of that yesterday. So today I'm going to see what my lessons are for next week. It's like when I'm lesson planning, I hear it. I hear what we're saying, but I don't process it and digest it. So it's not synthesized where it comes out and I done created something amazing. I need I need time away to process it on my own. So the planning with the team is cute. She cute. She cute. But I'm there, but I'm not there. But I have to sit by myself and process and plan out what I'm going to do. And then the computer in my brain starts going, and I create something amazing. I don't know, my brain just is just weird like that. And sometimes I call it a blessing and sometimes it's a curse. Because sometimes I just wish I could just think like a normal person. <laughs> and I don't. So it's like if you give me something that's, you know, regular, I'm going to find a way to make it irregular. I don't know, it's just the way I, I've been that way all my life. 
I, I don't know. Even when it comes to clothes, cooking, I like to try different things, step outside my comfort zone. I push the envelope and then um, Bobby or the girl's like, ooh, I said, don't knock until you try it. What I recently found out that I freaking love, 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 ooh, it's making my mouth water, mouth water, is, okay, you may not like this and that's okay. We all like different things. Well, I think the sun is, no, she's still there. But I love, let me put my little rise up in here. Rise up, do the day, and then rise up, do the way. Okay, um, so anyway, I love sour, I gotta do that. I love sauerkraut and bread and butter pickles. Boom, it is so good. And I'm like, if you like pickles, why wouldn't you like sauerkraut? Because it, this tart, whatever. So now I want to try kimchi and bread and butter pickles. Because it's like the same families. So I know that's going to be good. And you get the good probiotics from that. It's good for your belly, your, your stomach and stuff. So when I walked in to get my drink, right, she wasn't ready because I guess they busy today. She's good. Mm -hmm. And so as it melts down, it won't be as sweet. So I got my my little buddy. <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. You need to look my chin. Don't be ridiculous. You need to go out and try this today. And as it melts down, but with the six pumps, I didn't think about that. But as it melts down it'll water it down and it won't be as sweet oh my gosh you good and see that's the thing the reason i step and maybe i won't do light water i'll just do water but the triple shot of espresso good i was a little nervous i was like oh what's gonna be what is gonna be she all right she all right so i'm gonna go in there right and try to figure out my lesson and then it's the holiday time so i want to do different background for my slides figure out what i'm teaching right now i don't know oh i need to work on my um seating chart too because baby we're getting seats yes we are and i know i need to find another job so for the new year i gotta find another job you see my little hand i'm trying to block the little sun for y'all i gotta find another job i gotta get it's like Someone asked me, you know, are you ready to date? I'm like, ew, no. Mm-mm, not even close. Not even close. It's like, I need to get myself together before I'm with somebody. I'm not interested anyway. I'm really not interested. Mm-mm. I'm not interested. I ain't arguing with nobody. I don't got to hear nobody's lies. I don't have to move when somebody else want to move. And, you know, sometimes I like the companionship. I like the friendship part of it. You know, always having someone there to talk to, bug out with. But if it's going to bring me peace of mind, I'd rather be solo. Mm -mm. And now one of my friends is like, okay, you should go out there and get you somebody. No. Why? Because that's what you would do. I'm not interested. You go in and, and, and meet these people. Mm-mm. 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 I have my experience. And I don't have any regrets whatsoever. They're life experiences. And that's how you become wiser. And that's where the term wise old lady comes from. <laughs> but we're not going to harp on that, right? Oh, I felt so bad, y'all. I saw, you know, I park in front of... um this lady's house and she watches me sometimes she'd be bringing me food and stuff I can cook good you can cook his name is robbie rob you can throw down honey you be doing it too okay and you know you know they white people but they be adding seasoning to their food good and um she's so sweet uh, and this lady she's so sweet she was like oh no i could be a b-word too if i want to She's like, oh, no, I was raised in the hood, too. <laughs> but she is one of the sweetest people that I know and soft-spoken. She's just really sweet. She sweets everybody. And so, when you know, I do it with my ex-sister teacher, too. I was like, oh, you would do that for anybody. She's like, that is true. 
but I do a little extra for you. You you extra special. <laughs> and so I said the same thing to the lady whose house. I was like, so you would do that for me? She's like, yeah, but it's extra special when it's for you. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, you know, she's just kind of, she, she would do it for anybody, really. And so, um, I saw one of my students. I was like, no, no. And she was talking to me through my door because I gave her some lasagna soup that I made in the Airbnb, but I froze it. So I made, I don't know how to make a little bit of food. So especially when I'm doing a batch. And so I froze it and then I had it on ice. And so I said, you just got to add a cup of water when you heat it up and add some mozzarella cheese. And if you want to top it with some ricotta cheese, it was good. And so that's what I ate while I was at the Airbnb. And so I saw one, and I love this little girl. She's she's no longer one of my students. She's she's in high school. I love her, but I just like I didn't know how to explain. I didn't have my eye. I still don't have my eyelashes on. I didn't feel like doing a, a face today. And so being out in Kingwood, I don't I won't see any of my students. But I really wanted to talk to a hugger. I don't know. I don't. Maybe I'll speak to the aunt one day. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's not that I'm embarrassed, but a lot of people don't understand why I'm doing this. It's it's multiple reasons. And a lot of people don't understand it or why would I want to do it, blah, blah, blah. But I tell you, super, super comfy back there. It is so comfortable. It's like living in a tiny little home. Oh my goodness, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, y'all already heard the story anyway, if, if, if you one of my old heads, right? So listen, listen. One of my associates, we're not friends, but she's nice. One of my associates, she, I, child, I don't know how she did it. I, I don't know. She bought a submarine. A sub and a marine. She bought a, you know, the sub below, it goes under, under the ground. She bought a submarine and she's converting it into a tiny home. Mm hmm. And so I was telling Sydney about it yesterday and she's like, what? And our pictures, I was like, I think there are pictures online. And so we looked up her account on Facebook and saw the submarine. I, uh, and this lady is beyond creative. She's a survivor. She's, the creativity in her I just I don't even I can't even compare she's creative beyond creative and such a beautiful person a beautiful soul she's just amazing child let me get up in the Starbucks it's 3 45 I ain't do nothing but play around today no I slept to about 10 45 and then I got online and was doing nothing, wasting time away. That's what I need to do. I need to start putting limits on my online use. That's what I need to do. I don't really do it too much during the week, but like when I get to bed, that's my downtime. So I guess that's my relaxed time. But like weekends, sometimes I, I, I waste time doing that. But I guess that's the time I used to um, unwind because, you know, I work a lot. So one day I was in this car. I never left. I think I left to get some ice later that night. You know, I went to shower. I ran to the gym to shower and I went back to the car. I was busy. <laughs> I was busy up in here in this little 20 square foot little house. Okay. Busy. <laughs> I was doing hair. I was grading papers. Then I was watching movies and doing hair. Then I was editing videos. Then I was redecorating my space, moving stuff around. Then I was cleaning up. Busy. Honey, you hear me? I was I was exhausted by the end of the night. Got in the shower. I was like, oh. And then I think what really kept me going was the fact that I was watching this show highly recommend first wives club i think i watched all three seasons in a week it was good it was non-stop and even when i was in the airbnb and i went out for a little while where i was the only customer i was the only one there i put my i don't have airpods whatever i put my little earplugs in honey and i was watching my movie truth here's the truth okay i'm grown i'm old okay 
And what I do, I smoke cigars. So once in a blue moon, I like a cigar. And I don't want to be balded. And I like to be owl sometimes, music, whatever. Just because you see a lady, okay, a lady, who indulges in a cigar here and there, does not mean that I want to be balded or have a conversation. So, I enjoy a cigar. So, I was like in a year. Some years, I won't have a cigar. Or maybe I'll have one. It depends what's going on in my life. I like a good cigar here and there. So, it's not like it's something I have to do every day. No, it's not. And so, I went to this place and had me a cigar. I told her, oh, you smoke? Yes, I'm, I'm grown. I do enjoy a cigar here and there. Yes, I do. Yes, I, yes, yes, I do. So, it's, sometimes it's hard to find a space because I um, have a place where I buy my cigars, but this, if you go to certain places, you can't bring in your own cigars. So, it's all different rules for different places, different clubs or whatever. And I, some people do hookahs. I don't like a hookah. Mm, that's not my thing. I just want to be chill. I don't have to have a conversation. I just want to chill and enjoy my cigar. I don't got to talk, nothing, nothing. I'm just listening. I'm in my zone, thinking, reflecting, enjoying my cigar. But the only thing with the cigar is though, it do make my hair smell for about two days. But I have a spray that I could put in my hair, but I got out of storage and get that. So I do want to find this spot, but I don't know if they allow outside cigars. And this place looks always look deserted. So I just want to sit there. I just want to sit, relax, watch people walk by, cars, whatever. I don't want to be bothered. So anyway, that's my little secret um, that I do indulge in a, a, a cigar here and there. I, 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 that's that's my choice. Okay. All right. Not that y'all asked about it or anything. All right. Bye, y'all. I'm going to call you back later. And if you still here, you know I love you. I love you. All right, let me go um, act like I'm smart and do some work, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye, y'all.